All right, we're here with uh, Skip and Julie Radwani, who many of us know, uh, but for those who don't, uh, we thought we'd give you the opportunity to get to know them as they'll bless candles and Kiddush tomorrow night uh, at our Shabbat service. Uh, so first, if the two of you could tell us, so who lives in your home? Just us. Just the two of us. Our kids live in Dayton, Ohio and Tucson, Arizona. With their, with their grand, with our grandkids. Great. So they've, and their spouses. They've flown the nest. Yeah. And uh, what's your favorite Jewish food? I would have to say I really like um, Passover desserts, like chocolate cakes and nut cakes and everything. Those are my favorite. Uh, there are many Jewish foods I go a distance for, but I would travel to New York to go to Katz's Deli to have pastrami. Yeah, good choice. Uh, if given a choice to spend a day sitting in Yom Kippur services or to spend the day building a sukkah from scratch, which would you choose? I would build the sukkah from scratch. <laughs> Probably the same for me. Yeah, good. You're both handy people. Uh, what's a problem in our world you wish that our community could solve? Well, a problem I wish we could solve, I don't know if the community can do it, is uh, global warming, but, you know, we can do our small part. My uh, perspective would be to uh, uh, rekindle respect for truth, facts, and uh, science. Yeah. And what's a blessing you or your family have experienced in this past year? I would have to say, I think it's been a difficult year for everybody, um, but we did have, um, my great nephew was born, my brother's first grandchild. He was born on November 13th and he was premature. He was only 32 weeks. And so far he's been doing well in the NICU in Denver and he's doing okay. He's not home yet, but his family is with him and um, he's been growing and, and progressing. And I think he'll be able to go home in a few weeks. So we're very grateful for that. I would also say, uh, in spite of four of us working in healthcare, none of us have been touched by COVID. So yeah. that I, I guess that's a pretty big blessing. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm going to, I'm going to pick one question that's, it's not on here because you just told me about this. Uh, maybe Julie, can you tell us about the candlesticks that you'll use to bless uh, Shabbat tomorrow night? Cause they have a history. The candlesticks were made by my great grandfather, Wolf Weinfeld. I believe in Hungary, he was some kind of a coppersmith or, or tinsmith or something like that. He made the candlesticks, so they don't exactly match, but they are handmade and they've been handed down from the family. Well, that's wonderful. That's a great, you know, one of the, we're, we're learning all sorts of benefits of, uh, of having to adapt. And one of them is, you know, we, we have beautiful candlesticks at Temple. Uh, but we use the same couple sets every Shabbat. And so now we'll get to, we get to have some that have been passed down through families. So it's a, it's a wonderful addition. So thank true. you. Thank you both for blessing, yeah. uh, blessing candles and Kiddush from the Bima tomorrow night. Uh, and it was great to see you. We are honored. Thank, thank you. you. Great to see you.